Welcome back to another episode of Gladys, our clinical Gladys, um, with us Charlotte Physios. I'm Ollie, as you all know by now. Um, so this um, episode is going to be a level three class, um, focusing more on control um, and using some equipment. So we're going to use a ball. So we'll start off um, with a nice simple stretch and we'll get straight into it. All right, so we'll start with some roll down, some roll ups. So we'll take a deep breath in. And off we go. Breathe it out. So rolling our head forward, rounding our shoulders, gradually working our way down along that spine. And coming further and further down towards the toes. See if you can get all the way. And coming back up, we're breathing in. And we're slowly straightening that spine, one piece at a time. Coming all the way, relaxing our shoulders back, chest out. And off we go again. Breathe in, breathe out. Rolling down along that spine. Coming all the way. Further and further down we go. And the next roll up. Breathe in. Rolling up. Coming all the way. Coming up. Taking those shoulders back. Chest out. So we'll do one more. Breathe in, breathe out. Rolling down, all the way down. Good. Breathe in, and all the way. Up, shoulders back, spine nice and straight. Sit and relax. So we're going to do some more stretching in the sitting. So we're going to sit down. Long sitting position, we're going to stretch one foot out either side of the mat and what we're going to do with the arms, we're going to take the arms out in line with the legs and we're going to do some rotation. So, so arms out and what we're going to do is reach the opposite arm towards the outside of the opposite ankle. Okay. And switch each time, reaching out Nice, gentle, and what we're really focusing on here is your spine, all right? So we're twisting over, and you're leaning as far forward as you can. So it's getting the spine nice and warmed up, nice and loose for the exercises. We'll do one more at a time, there's one, and there's two, good. Then we're gonna do a bit of rotation, so we'll just cross one foot over the other foot, Sitting up nice and straight, all the arms in front, and we're going to twist and turn all the way around to our side, far around as you can go, using the hand to pull the elbow a little bit further, and then come back over to the other side. And again, using the arm to pull and stretch around as far as you can. Back into the middle, we'll do one more either side, come all the way around. And last one, back we go. Good, and come back into me. Right, so we're gonna get ready. So we're gonna come, pop our block down on the mat. We're gonna come have a line back. And here, we chuck this ball. Good, right, so we're gonna use the ball, the flat ball. And we're gonna work on mostly control today. Pop the ball underneath your bum. And make sure it's not all the way up around your back or you don't want it sticking out down at the end. So it should just kind of cover the surface of your bum, a little bit coming up on towards your belt line there. All right, so in that position, what we want to do is we want to make sure we're in a neutral spine. So we round our back down, arch it up, squash it down, and we're going to find that neutral spine. So we're finding halfway. So once we've got halfway, we're getting our core contraction. So squeeze in that lower tummy, draw on that pelvic floor up, so we're going to start from double tabletop, we're taking one leg up, then followed by the other leg, good, hold that position, we're going to take both hands up, and off we go, patting those hands up and down, while keeping everything nice and steady, so you're trying to keep yourself from bouncing around on the ball, and stopping yourself from falling side to side, so we're really focusing on keeping that pelvis level, and again, most importantly, I've got my core engaged, and I'm keeping this part of my spine nice and flat. Keep those hands going. 
nice relaxed breathing. We're not holding our breath. Again, keeping that core tight. We're almost there. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Good, and we're going to relax the arms down. Then you're going to relax one leg down, followed by the other leg. And just stretch the legs out, bring the arms overhead. We can keep the ball in position for a second. And we're just giving ourselves a little bit of a stretch. Good. And we're going to pull one knee towards it for a second. Let it go. Bring the other one in. In towards the chest, hands around the knees. And let it go. Perfect. Let's get into the second set. So take a second, reset, feet hip width apart. We're going to try and step it up a little bit for the set. So find that neutral spine. We're getting our core contraction. We're going to lift that leg back into the tabletop, lift the other one. Good. Both hands up and off we go. So what we're going to do in a second is we're going to lift the head off the block for 30 seconds during this minute. Now we want to keep the chin tucked in, making sure we're not straining the neck muscles. You'll feel it a little bit on the front of the neck doing work, but we don't want you to push through pain. If you feel it too hard, relax the head down. So off we go, chin tucked in, lift that forehead. Now we're just looking at the tops of the knees as we pat those hands up and down. Keeping that chin tucked in. We're holding it there for 30 seconds if we're able. So we're really starting to feel the tummy work a little bit harder. I'm starting to feel my neck work a little bit as well, but I'm not pushing through any pain. And I'm keeping my spine nice and straight on that ball. Good. And with a few seconds left, three, two, just relax the head down with a few more seconds left on that, um, hundreds. Keep it going. Good, we're gonna relax the arms down, followed by one leg and then the other. Good effort. So we're going to roll the knees to the side for a second, just to give the back a little bit of a break, a little bit of a stretch. Looking over the opposite shoulder, come back up, and come round again, off the side of the ball, looking over the opposite shoulder. Good stuff. Come back into the middle, one set left. Reposition yourself on the ball, again, feet hip width apart, find your neutral spine, Core tight. Now we're going to try to do the whole minute with the head up again. If at any stage you find it tough, just relax the head down. Core tight. We're taking one leg in the tabletop, followed by the other leg. And then chin tucked in. And up we go. And we're patting those hands up and down, keeping hold of that core contraction. So we've 30 seconds done. What I want you to do now is I want you to keep your core tight. I'm going to stretch one leg straight out. Keep the core tight. Keep yourself in the ball. Don't let the spine move. Keeping that chin tucked in. And I want you to take that leg back into tabletop. And now stretch the other leg out. So the knee is nice and straight. Patting those hands. Keeping that chin tucked in. Should be feeling that tummy work a little bit harder. Good. Take the legs back into tabletop. Relax the arms down. Head down. One leg down. And then the other leg. Good effort. Well done. Good control. Right. Pop the ball out just for a second. And I want you to pull both knees in towards you. In towards your chest to give that lower back a little bit of a stretch. Let the feet cross. And we're pulling them all the way in. Good. It's amazing the difference the ball can make to the exercise, making you work that little bit harder, working the control. Perfect. So we're going to use the ball back in the same position for the next one. So bridge back up and pop it again under the bum and just a little bit on the lower back. So it's covering your belt line. All right. Let's find that neutral position again. So find halfway. 
up and down, get our core tight. Now the exercise that we're going to do, we're going to draw some circles and we're going to work from double tabletop. So core tight, we're going to work one leg up, then the other leg. Good. Now what I want you to do is we're going to use this leg and we're going to draw a circle, keeping the knee and ankle nice and still. Alright, so off we go. Bring our left leg out, down, and around. And again, slow and controlled. We're going to go for one minute now, working on one leg. It's all about control. It's a bit hard to see what you're doing. Let me see if I can come closer. So the knee is coming round in a circle from the top. Yeah, that's better. Focusing on my core contraction. I'm keeping the other leg nice and still, and I'm keeping the pelvis as steady as I feel I can by using my tummy. So it's the hip that's coming up, out to the side, down, and in. And that knee staying still, isn't it, really? Yeah, should be. Good, last few seconds. Good, and we're going to relax one leg down and then the other leg. Good. Have a rest for a few seconds. Just stretch the leg down, take the pressure off the front of the hip. We're getting ready to go with the other leg. So we're going to make it a bit more challenging for the other leg. So, neutral spine, core tight, lift the other leg up into tabletop, lift the other one beside it. And we're going to draw circles again using the other side. So now we're going to start to take the support away to try and challenge you a little bit more. So we're going to take our hands and place them up on our tummy, keeping our core tight. So now I've got less support to keep this pelvis nice and steady. So you're just bringing that right knee now out and round, same thing you were doing on the left? The exact same. Okay. Hold on to that core contraction, making sure your spine does not collapse down into the mat or it's not arching way up. Keep it going nice and slow, almost there. Good, and then we're going to relax that leg down, and then the other leg. Good, just stretch the leg out with one more set of those left, bringing the arms overhead, just stretching everything out. Good. Perfect, right, let's get back in position, and we'll get this set done. So, both knees bent, spine, neutral spine, core tight, lift the leg up. And then the other leg. So this time we're going to go in the opposite direction to what we went. Kira, can you remember which direction I went? You came in, round, and down. So you're going to go down, round, and in. Okay. So down first, yeah, that's it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to reduce the support as well. So we're going to cross the arms around the chest. So we're going the opposite direction. Keeping our core. Hold on to that contraction. Oh, a bit of a speed wobble there. Keeping that core tight. Really working hard now. I can start to feel it working my tummy. I'm feeling a little bit in front of my legs, front of my quads and hip flexors. And I'm working hard, focusing on the other leg as well. I'm trying to keep the other leg as still as humanly possible. Whoa. That's what we see in class, isn't it? The other leg starts to fall out to the yeah, side. Particularly as you start to 
Get tired. Last two seconds. Good. And relax one leg down and then the other leg. Just stretch your body in, shaking the legs out, taking the pressure off the front of the hip. We have one set left. So what exercise have we got going up next here? It's just pure control work where you lift legs up, arms up, head up, trying yeah. to keep everything still. Perfect, right, so let's get our neutral spine again. We're getting our core contraction. So we're going to take one leg up into the tabletop, then the other leg, and we're going around in the opposite way again. It's what we did the first time with this leg. The last set now. Working hard. So what we see sometimes in class as well is some people get an occasional clunk in the hip as they bring this leg around. So if you're not getting pain, don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. What it tends to be is a um, tendon in the hip starts to just rub over and back against a piece of bone as it flicks over and back as we move that leg around. It's perfectly normal. It can be sometimes associated with a, pain, with a bit of pain. So if it's giving you pain, try and reduce the size of your circle or um, go see someone about it to try and reduce the pain um, so that you can do it. I don't want you to push through pain in this exercise. Who will I go and see, Ollie? Um, I don't know. Can you think of any <laughs> suggestions? Well, if you're in Donegal, come see Physio Aaron. If not, the Charter Physio. Not just a rat. Good, last few seconds. I'm really starting to feel it in my core and in the front of my hips. Good, and relax one leg down and then the other leg. Great effort, good. So we're gonna come, relax the ball down. I want you to pull one knee right up towards you. Let the other leg fall flat. So we feel a little bit of a stretch down here and I'm feeling the stretch on the legs that I'm pulling up towards me as well. Definitely is very hip flexor dominant this session. Good, relax that leg down. Good, and relax. Perfect, right. So for the next one, we're gonna again pop the ball back underneath our bum. Alright. Making sure again it's not sticking out or it's not way up underneath our back. So find your neutral spine position. So we're going to get our core contraction. So you're going to get your um, one leg into that tabletop position again, followed by the other leg. And then we're going to work with our arms up in that position. Now I want you to just hold it for about 30 seconds, just keeping everything completely still. So the arms are staying up, reaching for the ceiling. They're not starting to drop overhead. And then the legs, are staying in that tabletop position. So you're focusing on the core and focusing on the control. Hold it there. Slow and controlled breathing. Nice and relaxed. We're almost there. Hold. Good. Relax one leg down, then the other leg, followed by the hands. Good. Right, so we're going to do an exercise in that position now. So we're getting our core contraction again. So we're gonna take one leg up, followed by the other leg, both hands up, and now we're gonna move the opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? So the leg is gonna stretch away, and the arm is gonna stretch overhead. So, and we're going opposite sides and alternating each time. So core tight, and we're reaching one arm overhead, stretching one leg down, and back up, into that neutral position again, and away we go with the other side. Come back up, and you're really focusing on that core contraction, keeping your spine completely still. If we're finding it tough, what you can do is you can point the leg a little bit higher, so it's not the same weight going through your core. Come back in. If you want to challenge yourself, try and point it as low as you feel you're able to without compromising on that neutral spine. You're killer this one. So it's tough. Mm -hmm. You'll feel it working your tummy. 
all the way down, right down. Rocking the hip flexors as well. And you're focusing, trying to keep yourself as still as possible on that ball, not letting your pelvis tilt. And we're keeping the other arm and leg that are in the center nice and still as well. Keep it going nice and slow. The slower we go, the better. The more control we require. Good. We're going to do three more either side. Almost there. Come back up. And away we go again. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And take them back up. Good. Two left either side. Stretch that arm overhead. Stretch that leg down. And pull them back into the center. And last. Sorry, no. This is the last, second last one on this arm. Come back up. One left each side. Really starting to get tired now. My hips and my core. Really feeling the burn. Pull it back up. And last one. Keep the quality. Keep the control. If you're struggling, again, make it easier by pointing the legs higher. One leg down, then the other leg, followed by the hand. Good efforts. Well done. Stretching those legs out. Bring those arms up all the way. Good. Perfect. Right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to come pop the ball in between the knees. So, neutral spine, core tight, hands resting down either side. What I want you to do is squeeze in the ball and we're going to lift the legs up into tabletop and we're holding that there for 30 seconds. Keeping that ball squeezed, holding it there and focusing on that spine, not letting it budge. All right? Squeeze in that core, squeeze in that ball. Nice and firm. Hold it there. Keep breathing through it. Don't hold your breath. Nice, relaxed breathing. Relax those shoulders. Good. Keep it going. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Good. And relax. And two left. So let's get ready. So neutral spine, core tight. Squeeze that ball. Take the feet up. Into tabletop, keeping everything nice and steady. Hold. This time, what we're going to do for the last 20 seconds is lift that head up, keeping that chin tucked in, and make sure your tummy doesn't dome or push up and out. You're tightening everything in and down. Keeping the hands down for this set, and for the last set, then we'll lift the hands away so you don't have as much support. Squeezing hard in that ball, squeezing that tummy. Keeping that chin tucked in. Hold. And relax the head down. Relax the legs down. Well done. One more set of 30 seconds. 30 seconds, excuse me. Good. Get that neutral spine again. Core contraction. Squeeze that ball in. I want you to lift that ball into position. Chin tucked in, lift the head. Now get those arms up as well. That's the last bit. Really squeezing hard, keeping that chin tucked in. Hold that ball. Squeeze up through those knees. Push. Really squeezing that tummy. Making sure it's not just pushing up and out. Hold. How are we doing time-wise here? Keep going, keep going. Should be definitely feeling it. Last five. In the tummy. In the hip flexors, Three. You're feeling it a bit in the front of the neck. Two. I'm working, holding that head. Good. And I'm going to relax nice and slowly down with the head. Relax the legs down. Relax the ball and relax your core. Great effort. So we're going to pop the ball to the side. And what I want you to do then is we're going to come stretch the legs out. And we're going to roll up from the mat. So arms overhead, chin tucked in. And I want you to roll up all the way. Good. And then what we're going to do is you're going to pop one foot beside the other foot and we're going to give those groins a bit of a stretch. So, like here did earlier in previous episodes, uh, feet together, hands around the toes, and what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in 
And as you breathe out, you're rolling that head forward. Down, 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 down. Go as far down as you feel you can. Pulling the toes up towards you. Letting those knees spread wide apart. Now we're going to breathe in. Coming all the way up. And breathe out. Rolling down. Breathe in. All the way. Good. And relax. And we're going to come have a stand. So we're going to come kneeling. And what we're going to do then is we're going to come up, walk with the hands back towards you, and we're going to roll from here. So breathe in and roll up. All the way. Shoulders back. There you have it. That's episode 13, is it? Perfect. Episode 13 was bought. So again, please subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to get in contact with us either through um, our social media on Facebook, Twitter, or, on, or leave a comment below um, on the video. Alright. Until next time guys, thanks.